So why do harp strings break? Well, there are lots of reasons and we'll just go into a few of them here tonight. Um, it depends what kind of string you're using. We're using gut strings here, which are probably more susceptible to breaking than nylon or the synthetic strings that you can get nowadays. But the quality of the sound from gut still is probably the best, in our opinion anyway. Um, so a string when it gets worn is prone to breaking and the gut strings are covered with a varnish or a lacquer and when that wears away then the string becomes sensitive to moisture it's what's called hygroscopic it gives in and takes in moisture and and it's not really going to last much longer and also the string the fibers that are wound from the animal material tend to start break down and they get sort of furry little edges we'll show you a photograph later on of the beginning of it so as a harpist if you can see that happening try and preempt the moment don't wait for it to break i think that's the key <clears throat> so it's it's Temperature change is uh, 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 quite important. Um, quite often when, when winter comes from the summer, you get strings popping for no apparent reason, but it's the temperature change. At night, when things get cold, the tension gets higher because the strings contract and they can pop then. So there's a certain lifespan for strings and there are certain things that you can look for to prevent it. And we look at some of the reasons why they break other than just the string getting old or worn now. So firstly, um, there are areas where the string passes over points of reference like the speaking length of the string from the bridge pin to the soundboard here. Now the string has to go past hard surfaces and that quite often if there's any sharp edges will actually cut into the string and help it to wear. So we look at a few of those points that could cause problems. So if I undo this string here now and look at the first place that we could have a problem and it's the hole that goes through the tuning pin the edges on it because they can be sharp sometimes can actually cut into the string and shorten the life of the string so that's one thing that can actually cause a problem the second thing is the bridge pin that's the pin that the string goes over after the tuning pin here again there's a hard reference point if there's not a hard reference point the string won't speak clearly but it must be smooth it can't have a jagged edge or that can cause wear particularly as you're turning the string up and down it's going past that point and cutting itself then on the semitone lever sometimes there are areas there that can be sharp so we need to look at those but I suspect those are the three reasons at the top end and at the bottom end here where the string goes through the soundboard, where that angle changes quite severely, that point on the eyelet there can often be a problem. So what I've done here, I've put a piece of soft string, like sisal, the sort of thing you tie your parcels up with in the post office, and that goes through the hole that the string would go through. But in order to make it polish the area, we put some brasso or some tea cut or some abrasive media that that will actually stick to the string and then you pull it back and forth and the abrasive media will actually polish the edge and you simulate the line of the string over the bridge pin through the tuning pin and down through to the soundboard and quite often at that point there if you put a piece of the string through the hole and put your hand round the back and pull it up and down and simulate the line of the string going through there it will help to polish out any sharp edges or burrs that might be there and when you're trying to discover what's causing a string breaking if it's not the standard things keep an eye on where it breaks if it breaks at this point often chances are there's a sharp edge there or the tuning pin any of these places or the bridge pin can actually cause the string to fail so those are a few ideas of how to make your strings last but one of the most important things particularly with gut strings is for you to sort of keep an eye here's a good example of a, a string that's gone hairy the windings are beginning to break down the lack has been worn away and it hasn't got very long to go so try and preempt the problem and if you see anything like that make sure you change it before you're in your next concert